Well, praise the Lord. This is Bill Prankard, and here we are. It's Mentoring Moments. Every week, I try to answer one question. If you've got questions, you get them to us, and I'll do my best to answer. Good question, big question this week. Is tithing New Testament? Why should I not just give, but why should I tithe? In other words, why if I just give rather than tithe, isn't that okay? Big question. And uh, it's an easy answer for me. Tithing is not an Old Testament principle. Tithing is a principle of God. Jesus endorsed it. He commended people that were doing different things, including tithing. He said, you need to keep doing that. He didn't come to destroy the things from the Old Testament. He came to fulfill them. And you say, well, we're not under law. Well, the tithing's got nothing to do with the law. Abraham tithed before the law was given. He took a tenth of everything. And the blessing of God came. Tithing is the only thing in the scripture where God says, try it, prove me. And he says, if you tithe, if you take a tenth of what I bless you with and give it back to me, and you give offerings, Prove me. See if I won't open the windows of heaven and the blessing will be poured out. Let me tell you something. I Years ago, I tried to understand it. I couldn't understand. I don't understand it now. But I know this, that God blesses when you give to him the first fruit. And a tithe is 10%. You know, so many people have said to me, well, I tithe, but I, I don't give 10%. Well, then it's not tithe. Tithe literally means 10. It's a tenth of what you give. And um, uh, many of you are overcome, overwhelmed with stuff. The Bible says if you tithe and give offerings, you'll be overwhelmed with blessing. You'll be blessed so much that you won't be able to contain it. I think that's a really, really good thing. And so, uh, you know, giving is good. And, and, Malachi chapter 3 breaks it up into two parts, your tithe and your offerings. And if you disobey in either one, you lose the blessing. In fact, it says you're cursed. You say, well, I don't like that. I don't like it either. So I tithe and give offerings. Because first of all, a tithe, 10% of everything that you get, every bit of income you get, and I don't believe that you have any right to allocate where that's going to go. Some people say, well, I take 10% and I give it to my family. I give it to the poor. I give it to this ministry. Um, I believe it's God's. And it needs to be given back to God. And uh, you need to give it to your storehouse. And so, first of all, you have to be part of a church in, in order to do that. And your tithe belongs to the local church without any strings attached. Now, offerings are different. They're fun. You can do whatever you feel to do, whatever you feel God wants you to do. But I'm here to tell you that blessing comes when you give over and above your tithe and give offerings. And if you, God speaks to you about giving an offering, whether it's in a service or giving to somebody else or ministry, and you don't, you're in disobedience. And you, you stop the blessing of God. So who doesn't want to be blessed? I mean, who doesn't want to be blessed? I, I, you know, a man came to me and says, look, I, I don't mind giving, but I don't believe in this tithing thing. That's Old Testament. So he said they didn't tithe in the New Testament. So I took him to the book of Acts, and I said, well, let's look. See what they did. Maybe you're right, because I knew the answer. And the answer was they didn't tithe. I said, you're right. They didn't get 10%. They gave everything. They sold everything, and they had everything in common. I mean, they didn't keep anything back. And, and, and when Ananias and Sapphira lied about keeping, you know, that they said we're giving everything and they hadn't, that, that didn't go well and because uh, they didn't have to do that. But I said they didn't. They gave 100%. Well, he looked at me a little nervously. He said, well, I'm not against tithing. I'm just trying to figure all this out. I'm just here to encourage you to give it a try. I, God will bless you. God will bless you. 90% goes farther than 100%. I don't, I don't understand it, but I know it works. My wife and I have done this ever since we got saved and married. And uh, 
Our ministry does this, and the blessing of God comes. And so your offerings, be careful that you sow them in good seed, good soil, and good seed, but your tithe belongs to the local church. So go ahead, be a tither, and walk in blessing, and you will not regret it. God bless you. This is Bill Prankard, and this is Mentoring Moments.